Hey y'all, it's your gender bender prophet Jess coming at you with a full moon reading that is happening on the 12th of November. As far as I understand, sometimes my sources are like a day off. I don't know why, but there we go. I have the uh, messenger oracle by Ravine Felon. Uh, this is a pick a card message. So have fun with it. <laughs> if you would like to support the channel, like, share, subscribe, let people know that you appreciate the guidance, and they might as well. You can get a personal service starting at $11 for 15 minutes. Additional pricings, instructions, and descriptions for the Psychic Reiki Healing or personal card reading will be down below in the information box, along with links to Facebook and Instagram that you can join me on for daily posts, and Patreon, where you can join me for like a, like a Netflix subscription, a monthly contribution for discounted services, throughout the month. All right, let's tilt you down so you can resonate with a spread. I have three piles here. Trust your resonation, trust where your eye is drawn. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, I have piles one, two, three. You can choose more than one, as always. Trust your gut, trust your intuition. Pause if you need some more time so you can freeze frame. I'm gonna pull you back up. And we're going to get started with group one. What does this full message energy for the next two weeks or so have in store for you? Oh, let the emotions flow. All right. A lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. So emotions are what create. This is a very important time to, hmm, you don't want to get stuck with certain creations. Okay. Time lag of manifestation is your friend. Because you may be holding on to certain emotions that you don't want to actually have create certain manifestations in your world. And it, a lot of you are going to be experiencing a, a very important part of the healing process where you have to sit with certain emotions and give them their validity so that you can let them go. This is a big churning time for you. This is not a time to settle on your emotions or even make big decisions if you can help it. Um, you know, if you have to make a decision of uh, like like a fiscal realm, if you have no option, that's one thing. But if you don't have to decide to break up with someone or commit to someone in a in an emotional realm, you know, don't. <laughs> Uh, let your emotions churn so that the the lesson of this moon can give you the freedom to wait so that solid ground can find you and that you don't have to feel like you are, you have to provide the solid foundation. I have the freedom to experience and to let go. That is so important. Experience emotions so that you can let them go. This is a very valuable trick in alchemy. This is truly walking on water. Getting to experience the vast spectrum of humanity is amazing. But you don't want to trip up or drown or get stuck in certain ways. Explore all of the realm. Yeah, I'm feeling like a lot of heart space and, and sacral space washing, cleansing, releasing, also obtaining. Beginnings and endings are the exact same thing. Death is life. So churn, baby, churn. All right, babe. There it is, group one. Thank you for allowing me to be your channeler. I'm deeply honored. Take care if you're popping off now. You know where to find me. Group two, this full moon, what's it bringing to you? Mm-hmm. Let go of the old. Trust in magic. I'm getting tangles. The old you needed logic. The old you needed proof. The old you needed to see results. <laughs> you gotta let go of something in order to receive something. And you cannot define what it is for you to receive. You have to be willing to be open to anything. Sorry, Oif was doing a beautiful dance outside the window. Take that as you will. 
Be open to anything. Do not shut yourself off to certain possibilities because you're scared of them or because you think it's not what you want. Number one, it might not even occur if that's not what you want. Number two, if you focus on that, that is what will come about. Part of this here is if you don't want to, it, it, it's, it's, it's retraining yourself to focus on that which you do want or to be open-minded enough to just allow for something to be delivered to you. A lot of egotistical shedding happening here. A lot of infusion of the dark void of the unknown from which all things, all light, all life is birthed. Embrace this. Own it. Live it. Be it. <laughs> Love it. It lives inside of you. Get good with your shadow self. All right? Work the unknown by loving and living and trusting it. Don't be rigid. Don't project. Don't expect. Now that has a connotation to it like everything else. Did that glitch happen? Did that record? I'll be very interested to see that. So, um, it was like a dark. So you can have expectations regurgitating from a wounded place. I expect life to go this way. I expect a certain timeline. Or you can expect magic. You can expect everything to work out. You're holding that truth in a lower frequency of your root chakra that touches this dark void all the more. Crows and ravens, they know what's up. They embody it. They love it. I call them reverse stars in the day sky. I love them. And if you see a crow, if crows or, or raven, if anything of that nature is, like, or black cat or a black caterpillar, you know, the if you're in my part of the world, it's autumn and the, the big fuzzy caterpillars are out and Sometimes they can be all black or all brown or a combination thereof, you know what I'm saying? But if black comes to you, that is, that's not bad. That's not foreboding. That's because the feminine force has been demonized. So much so that <laughs> the, the feminine form of humanity is demonized. Period blood. All right, just saying. Um, but, but this, that, that's, they're attracted to, to your co-creative magic. They're attracted to your trust. They're attracted to the clicked in alignment of true potential of unlocking the key or unlocking the, like you being the key to unlock something really beautiful. And so this letting go of the old is letting go of your distrust in your own self. Because when you don't trust the dark void of the unknown, when you don't trust the goddess to deliver through the masculine formation that is overly worshipped. When you don't trust yourself, when you don't trust that, you don't get it. Get out of your way and trust. Feel. Become bigger than your old concerns. Ascend. Gain an objective perspective or no perspective at all. Let it go and see what you make room for that way. <sighs> there it is, group two. Thank you for allowing me to be your channeler. I'm deeply honored. Take care if you're popping off now. You know where to find me. Group three, what's this full moon got to bring for you? Ooh. Like amazing, fresh, stimulating, almost scary energy. Seek your destiny. A new day dawns. Mm -hmm. I'm right now. I'm right now. You can't bring, you can't live your old journey. You can't relive yesterday. The only thing you can do is make powerful decisions, perhaps different decisions, for therein lies the power, the choice. You want things to be different? Okay. You be different. <laughs> and do what the dark is asking you to show. And often this will happen 
by ways of you seeing lack of something in the world. If you see a lack, that's because you're meant to be that which you see a lack of. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Are you going to sit? Are you going to wait? Are you going to twiddle your thumbs? Are you going to take action? Now, a lot of you have been building up to this point. A lot of you wouldn't be able to take action or seek if you hadn't had a certain storyline of experience. So do not degrade your past. Do not regret your past. Simply embrace the opportunity that this energy is giving you. Be infused with inspiration. Propel forward with your with your newfound sense of self, with your newfound power within. Y- y'all have been doing a lot of work to embrace this dark, to embrace your shadow, to work with it, to not demonize it. And there's been a balance restored. And it's time for you to work it. All right? The feminine force is with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Star Wars, may the force be with you. It's feminine. It's intuition. It's mystical. And you're giving it form. You can give it form. That's the potential of this energy. It is not a guarantee. You got to meet it halfway. But you really want to. Go for it. This is your sign. Take care, Ragan. I love you for loving yourself. You know where to find me.